This is a quick update on a refactor of the UI for Focus that um, I've been working on. Um, you can probably see from uh, the screen that the tab widget that used to contain uh, all of the parameters for Focus has disappeared. Um, it's been replaced just by three buttons um, and some blank space. The purpose of moving things around is uh, I suppose really to uh, try and make things a little less intimidating for new users so they're not confronted by um, lots of um, parameters um, but also to try and standardize things a little bit within case styles so for those of you that are f uh, familiar with um, uh, alignment and guiding if you press the options um, button down on the bottom right um, you get a configuration pop up that is appropriate to the screen you're on um, so in this case guide um, has a number of uh, pages of, uh, of parameters that you can configure so now focus has the same thing so if you press uh, this options button you get a focus specific pop-up um, which contains three pages of parameters that match the three tabs that uh, used to exist, one for basic settings, one for process related settings, and the last one for uh, more mechanical related uh, settings. So you can change these, these parameters as, you know, as you always used to, um, and, uh, you know, it'll uh, apply those parameters to the next autofocus run uh, automatically. Um, the other uh, two sets or two tabs that used to exist in the tab widget um, were the critical focus zone which now has its own pop-up and the focus advisor which again has its own pop-up so the layout of the widgets for all of these new pop-ups are reasonably unchanged from the way they were set out in the uh, in the tab widget so I think people should be able to find their way around them relatively easily. Um, once you uh, set them up, um, then everything <clears throat> pretty much should behave within focus um, in the same way as it, as it always has. Um, I suppose uh, just a couple of things uh, to, to, to point out, you know, if you have the disappearing uh, pop-up problem with uh, with with Mac that uh, Kstos and Ecos suffer from, um, you can always just repress the uh, the button. So, if, for instance, um, I have uh, <clears throat> a pop up that has disappeared behind the main window, you know, if I just press the uh, the buttons again, they should come back. So, that should be a way of um, finding any pop ups that um, have been launched that uh, unfortunately are behind other windows. Um, the other thing probably just to mention this is not a new feature it's it's um already existing but just for folks that don't know about it you can set up um your focus related parameters um on an optical train basis so if i change my um optical chain you can see that the values of the parameters are um uh, will actually change so it's a relatively easy if you have um, a number of setups um, that would require different uh, focus parameters, then, you know, you can set them up um, how you like. It's easy to do. Just set up a new optical train. Um, so let's say I'll call this one test three. Um, In there in there um, and then if I go to test three I can you know set these up however I would like um, and you know when I move back to test three the parameters are uh, will be as they were the last time I used that particular uh, optical train so it's all quite straight forward I think once you're aware of um, you know where the uh, the new 
uh, UI has put the uh, the parameters. Um, there's no loss of functionality or additional functionality with this change. It's just a UI change. So if you have any thoughts on the UI, uh, if there are anything that you think is um, or suboptimal or could be improved, let me know. Um, you know, UIs are quite personal and everyone has their own preferred way of doing things. So may not be able to do everything people want, but um, I guess at least get it on the list. And you know, if it's possible, we should be able to change things. Obviously, um, the purpose of this change is to try to make focus a little more standard with the other functions within um, ECOS. Um, and I think, as I said at the start, also to perhaps make it a little less intimidating for new users when they uh, um, launch the application and see you know, a lot of uh, parameters that uh, need to be set. But um, other than that, I think that's kind of it for this change. Um, so, Happy New Year in clear skies.